Now, today marks an important milestone in French education. It's the 100th anniversary of a decree that ensured that secondary education be the same for boys and girls. To discuss what this meant at the time and what it means now, we can bring in Solange Mougin. Solange, great to see you as always. Co-education at the turn of the 20th, 20th century here in France was rare, wasn't it? It was. Uh, and this decree of March uh, 25th, uh, 1924, said that middle school and high school teaching should be the same for boys and girls. And it really marks a legislative turning point <coughs> for co-education in France, especially in regards to the baccalaureate. But the decree was not a sudden revolution either. Uh, first, it was a, a, not a decree that said that schools need to be co-ed. Uh, that would not come until 1975, half a century later. Actually, there was already co-ed schools uh, at the time in France. This was mainly due to practical, for practical reasons, especially in areas where there were not enough teachers after World War I. But such co-ed schools uh, were a minority, and the general view at the time was that proper, the proper Catholic way uh, was for different schools schools, uh, different teachings for uh, boys and girls. Now, girls were often taught the, their, the goal was to become good wives and mothers. And if they worked, they were uh, taught specifically in women's institutes for, quote unquote, feminine professions. And this would continue uh, for uh, decades long after this 1924 decree. And again, until 1975, uh, this, the law then was called the Habi Law. And it set in stone the fully, uh, uh, fully co-ed school system uh, that we have today, where single-sex schools are practically uh, not non-existent in France. Now, the baccalaureate, uh, as uh, we, we talk about, uh, in the 1924 law, it had much importance there. Yeah, it opened the door for women uh, to be able to pass the bac uh, and to ac access uh, universities in France. When Napoleon created the bac in 1808, it actually wasn't stipulated that it was only for men. Stereotypes were so strong back then that this was just simply a given. Um, but half a century later, a courageous and a very smart woman, Julie Victoire uh, Daubier, well, she broke that glass ceiling. Elle, c'était la, la première qui a osé à 37 ans. She was the first euh, woman to dare at 37 years old. Temps, at first, the Paris Academy refused to let her sit the exam as an independent candidate. candidate. It's the Lyon dean that allowed her to take the exam de Lyon, in 1861. Now, a handful of other women also passed their backs between the 1860s and this degree in 1924, um, which would then create a legal, which created a legal document for women to lean on if they wanted to go to what were male-dominated universities. Now, the number of women that did pass their backs, it slowly <coughs> increased, of course, to today's numbers, where there are 10 percent more women than men that successfully passed the back, uh, or according to the 2021 figures, uh, 88 percent of girls uh, passed the back uh, compared to 78 percent of boys. And talk us through gender equality in schools today here in France. How's France doing? Well, as I mentioned earlier, almost all French schools are, are co-ed, or as we say in French, they're mixed, and there's a mixité. Uh, the number of girls uh, that have higher education diplomas is 55% to 45% boys, but that does not mean that France cannot do better or improve its education uh, system when it comes to gender equality, especially in regard to certain stereotypes, uh, particularly in the science sciences and in math. Now, girls remain a minority in advanced mathematics, in tech, and in enge engineering courses, where there are only uh, between 20 and 30 percent of students in those classes. Last December, the OECD uh, released its PISA scores. This is the program for international student assessment that measures 15-year-olds' capacities uh, in the math, in, in, in the sciences, and in reading. And it found that France's math scores across genders, well, they dropped dramatically. It's a trend that actually happened across many uh, OECD nations, but France's math scores actually dropped more than in any other country. Uh, re researchers think that they can do a lot more in sort of combating stereotypes to make, make our math scores go up.